Hello world, PDR coming at you here with a 2015 Mercedes C400 AMG. Super nice car for a super nice guy. This, this dent right here is really small, but it is buried behind the hinge. And I've tried a couple of different tools. I tried clutch, uh, I tried my Sharpie, and first tried orange and could only get to about right here. Um, but now I've got uh, Louie in there, or not Louie, Lenny in there. Lenny's my long skinny tool, Louie's my short fat tool. And the tip is down about there, and the, I can turn my, tip is down about here, I think. Let me, yeah, down underneath this dent, it's down here. So my elbow is gonna be almost where the center of that dent is if I elbowed it out. I could start doing that right now, and I don't want it to open up and swing out. It's a very, very tight and highly difficult dent to access because of its location, guys. Um, I'm just gonna really slowly try to grab the center of it and tool it out. Thought we would bring you in for some finite luxury car dent work. And let's do it. We're right there in the center now. And then make some real slow pushes and just kind of walk that dent out. I don't want to make anything too severe. I literally don't even want to push anything down when I'm done. But I might move the board just back a little bit. There's a, see a little tiny dent in the fender too. We might even have to make this video a double, double denter. But I can see where I'm at now, and I can even give myself a better angle, which is what I have to do. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. We've got the microphone set up. And I am using the elbow of the tool, so I'm not using the tip. And I've got the tip of the tool literally just wedged underneath the brace. Um, I'll, I'll show you the tool we're using here when I get this dent out but I didn't want to risk showing you the tool and then taking five minutes to find my spot I just left it right where it was at and I'm dialed in it is a very difficult dent like I say to access but we're just gonna take our time I, s I still keep on moving this thing around a little bit so at this point in the videos, when I say, hey, I sure do appreciate everybody that clicks on this video and has watched it to this point. Um, you know, if you wanna hit that subscribe button, it sure helps out the channel. And uh, we sure love all the positive comments we see. Right now, I'm just kind of doing the same push I've been doing for about 20 pushes, guys. But when I finally feel that metal starting to move, I know it's right where I need to be. Going a little bit tighter on this one. And it's really windy out. So I don't know if you guys can hear the background noise or not, but it's a windstorm out there. I'm gonna actually flip the tip over and see if I can tip out into that dent. Let's see, get a real low angle on it and see if I can just sneak in there with the tip of this tool, which it looks like I'm way too high so far. No, nope, gotta get lower. And it's a tough angle. I had it way better with the elbow. And just dive right back into that the way I had it. This is kind of the, uh, Ooh, the struggle. And now we are getting right up into it. I really only need to make one or two good pushes. I just need to make sure they're in the right spot. And give myself that little bit of an angle now. Bracing this tool with everything I have and just 
walking it into place and going for that orange peel right there. That last little bit of low. Yeah. I think what we're going to do, guys, is take a break, put the heat gun on it, and we'll be back in just a bit. Okay, guys, we got it warm. We put the get a grip on it. And now I am uh, just dialing out this last little bit. I'd probably say it's up to 110. And then I just turned it down to the second setting so I could just hear myself and you guys could hear me a little better. But uh, it's a real tough little push of this center of this dent. It's really difficult to gauge. I mean, that was almost it, but I knew that was not the spot and it's just not sitting down the way I want it to. There it was. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So if you say, oh, I can still see it. Really? It's so hard to see even in my board. Um, I see there's this little tiny orange peel right here that I'm going to go for. But yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that we got that much of it out that quick. Um, didn't spend too much time between clips. But I do want to do this now. Just for the last little bit of it, I'm going to move my board to right here. Actually, I'm just going to set it on the ground right here. Yeah, guys, that came out really nice. Um, I see there's a little tiny wave in a pocket that if my tool is right there, yep, yeah, which it still is, I could just kind of reach up there and still go for that toughest part where it was. I could tell that was the toughest part right there. And you hear that tool just kind of wanting to move around weirdly. So that's when I say, whoa, stop before we break something inside of this door that's, um, you know, it's not worth it. So that one came out super nice. This one right here, I don't think we'll know the, uh, need the heat gun on. It's the same kind of little tiny, little tiny guy. Let's go over here with it. And see if you guys can see this little tiny thing. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them right there. I'm turn the heat gun on. Oh, pinched myself a little bit. Turn the heat gun on and just kind of I do kind of like about this thing is you can set it any way you want. Just turn the heat gun on and let it sit there for a while. Get some heat on that one and I will see what I need to access. This is most likely going to be orange. And then to get in there, I don't know, for some reason I just always grab number one because... I know right where this tip is and what it's doing. So there we go. I'm behind that plastic now. Might be a little bit dirty. And then I'm just in there, okay? It's where I always wanna be very careful that if I get dirt like this on my hands, I don't wanna touch an interior piece of the car. Totally unprofesh. So, now, that I'm in there. Let me turn that a little bit more angled. And we'll do both of these dents, all three of them, call it a triple on this beautiful car. If I can even access them, well, hello, where are they? I'm trying to get up to this very front one first. And might need a different angle. Let's go to this back one. I can see right where I'm at now. And I'm just going to make some nice soft pushes. I was using the fog at the beginning, but now I go into the line so I can see right exactly where I need to make that push. And we don't want to, we don't want to tap down if we don't have to, right? So if we can just have this kind of access, take our time, make super slow pushes. 
and bring it all up even, we won't have to tap anything. That one's coming out nice. Good way to finish off this video. Get some nice end result. Some quality, quality work. Now, I've already told the customer that nothing comes out 100% and I'm, I'm hoping for 95. But on a little tiny dent like this where I have complete access, yeah, I, I darn well better get it to 95, right? I mean, I'm all over the backside of this thing. Got it nice and warm. And just making real slow, delicate pushes. Looks like we're almost done with this little front one. Yeah, we're getting real close on this front one. I can always come back and get the last bit out of it. Take two or three more minutes if I need to, but that's, that's tiled in. Uh, one more push. I think yeah that's the way we want it to look nice and tight clean there's another little tiny push I can make but like I said I could sit here and get super picky on it guys and I don't need to do that on a dent that literally I don't even think he knew he had this one because I showed him the one in front of it this little guy and he said oh I didn't know I had that one so let's uh, see if I can get up there Almost, almost, almost. And then from this angle, I can't. I don't know if it's just because the tire might be a little bit in my way or the tool might be a little bit too thick, but look at how number one just sneakies. Number one will just sneaky right up in there. And if I can get the tip of number one right on it. Yeah, guys, watch this one. Here we go. This is... improvised it is the top edge of number one that I've basically just kind of shoved into this little dual plated area real real tight by the way the only reason why this dent is here is because it's on the back side of a dual panel that just ends like right where my tool is right here so it's very tight. We're just doing some finite work right now and it's almost out. I think that was the push right there. That was the one that makes it right. Not a hundred percent either. We're, guys, there's a little tiny pocket. Little tiny pocket in the center that I don't even think I'm gonna mess with. I think that one turned out real nice. All three of them did actually. Um, so if you guys like what you see, um, hit us up with a like button. Oh, I was gonna show you the tool that I used. The tool that I ended up using was this on this the whole time. And I had the elbow just stuck in there up against a brace and I was using the elbow of the tool, I think this direction. So yeah, uh, appreciate you guys sticking around for this one. If you would, hit that like and uh, share on the way out. Other than that, I'll just say the thing. This has been PDR, and I'm out. Peace.